Hi, I'm Sukunthi from Econ Systems and I'm super excited to announce the launch of Poloscan camera for Nvidia Jetson series. This once again proves the strong partnership between Econ Systems and Nvidia. They introduce Mr. Govati Shankar, the regional head of US West, to take you through the nitty gritties of this technically superior camera. Over to you, Govati. What we got here, so this tiny little thing is the Poloscan sensor bridge a new way to interface your sensors. It is not just for image sensors. What if you have more than image sensors? For example, you have a, a LiDAR, you have a radar. How, if you want to aggregate all these sensors together and send it to the host platform, this is a new way to do that. So the Holoscan sensor bridge is an FPGA IP based system uh, where you can connect multiple sensors, aggregate it together and send it over a single 10 gigabits per second Ethernet interface. The Holoscan sensor bridge is an advanced technology to transfer the data over the Ethernet. The biggest advantage we get with this is lower latency. Uh, a typical Ethernet will have a compressed data over the network, so that will create latency. The Holoscan sensor bridge is a customized SDK specifically to reduce the latency. So here we have got uh, two camera interfaces. Uh, so you can connect two of our Econ cameras. Right now we are supporting IMAX 795 uh, 4K sensor to it, but we can interface any image sensors uh, to that and uh, aggregate those data. Uh, we can have two of those cameras here, aggregate that data and send it over the ethernet. If you look at uh, OAGX Orin, IGX or TOR, that can support multiple uh, 10 gig ethernets. So you have a lot of bandwidth where you can utilize that for your um, sensor aggregation. So that's the Holoscan development kit uh, that can connect uh, multiple cameras and uh, we can aggregate together on the FPGA and sending it over the 10 gig uh, ethernet. Uh, this is the miniature version of it. It can still accommodate uh, two MIPI cameras and that can be synchronized and you, you can send the data over the ethernet. The biggest advantage here is it is ethernet so you can take it for longer distance. Unlike ZS interface where you have limitation in the cable length, here uh, since it's a network interface you can take it for longer distance. You can, even it can go for 50 meters, 100 meters.